Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're going to begin a picture inspired by the French Impressionist artist, the father of Impressionism, Claude Monet. And that's his last name, Monet. I'll have for you some um, examples of his artwork so you can look at those more closely. I'm going to show you some in just a moment. And I wanted to show you also the finished product. This is the finished picture we're going to be creating today. And I'll show you this later. Before I show you this, how to make this, let me tell you a little bit more about the artist Claude Monet. Alrighty, so let me tell you a little bit about this artist Claude Monet. There's a photograph of him. And here's a painting he's famous for, one of his famous paintings. And you can see that flag there on the right. That is the French flag. Claude Monet was a French artist from France, and he was the father of Impressionism. This painting is called Impressions Sunrise, and it's actually the painting that gave the name to the art movement, Impressionism. Now, Monet, and here's another photograph of him standing in front of um, another series of paintings he's famous for, his water lily paintings. Look how large they are. Here's a photograph of them in the art gallery where they are. Um, so Monet's painting style was very revolutionary for when he was doing this. He was take, he'd take his easel, his, paint, his paints and his easel, and he'd go outside and paint in nature. This was called in plain air. And he would paint um, specific places and try to capture the moment, the, the light at that specific time of day. So in that specific place, not trying to paint like a photograph, but trying to capture the mood, the feel, the light of a specific place at a specific time of day. And so it created these kind of blurry paintings, these, um, these, these beautiful paintings that are an impression of the scene. Not an exact replication of the scene, painting every detail, but trying to capture a moment, um, which was a big idea. People were not painting like this, so, um, but people liked it, and they caught on, and it was called Impressionism. And many other artists uh, started to paint in this same way, and in fact, still do to this day, influenced by Claude Monet, the father of Impressionism a very famous artist. Now we're going to be looking a lot as, at these paintings of his that have reflections because we're going to create a painting, a picture with a reflection in it. And I'll show you more about that. But before I stop I wanted to show you this painting by Monet. It has a reflection and it's actually, if you want to see it in real life, it is part of the permanent collection at the Columbia Museum of Art. So we can go and see this painting. It's not that far, av far away. Um, and so we can see a real Monet at the Columbia Museum of Art. Here's another photograph of Monet with his wife. And here's a photograph, that same photograph that, look there, there's Miss Tweedon. I photoshopped myself into this photo with Monet, who happens to be an artist that I really enjoy. Now, let me show you guys how we're going to create our pictures inspired by the artist Claude Monet. Alrighty guys, so here you can see me um, beginning my picture and the first thing I'm doing is I'm folding my paper horizontally, a hot dog fold, um, and you're folding it in half, put your name on the back, and then open it back up. You're going to be creating your picture just on half of your paper and then I'll show you later um, how we're going to create the reflection. So I'm just using markers and I have again a printout of various Monet artworks, many of which have a reflection in them, for you to look at for ideas and inspiration. And so really the only guidelines you need to follow for this are fold your paper in half, only draw on half of your paper, and you want to try to fill up all of that paper with um, with your image. So as I go you'll see I do my building, um, I'm using a lot of lines, and you don't have to do real colors. You don't have to do local colors. Like a build, the buildings can be purple, you can have green in the sky, you can have all different kinds of colors um, all around your picture. Um, in, and really if you look at those Monet pictures and your examples, you'll see that he has um, lots of different colors. They're not, you know, his in that painting, the one that we have at the Columbia Museum of Art, those those bushes, those trees that are reflected, they look purple and blue. Um, and of course, bushes don't look purple and blue, but in that painting, it really captures that morning, um, that morning light by painting in those colors, and it makes you feel like the there must be some fog or mist in the air. So, 
You can be creative with how you use colors in this. And you can see here I'm doing a haystack. Again, the only rules with this, guys, are only fill in half of your paper. As you see, I'll go in. Um, I think I'll speed it up a little bit more now. Alrighty guys, now I'm going four times as fast. Before it was just twice as fast. Now I'm going in um, um, four times as fast. So you can see me filling in. Oh, here's a good tip. Instead of just using the point of the marker, you can get a broad, a more broad line, a wider line with your marker. If you kind of tilt it to the side and use the, the side of the marker, that's good for uh, filling in some space. So it doesn't have to be just like color back and forth, but some line work where I'm trying to imitate that um, that look of the Monet paintings with those big bold dashes of color. So as I go in and fill in my whole paper, that's our goal today, to get that whole half done. The next step, which you're about to see me do, we will do that next time. So once I get all of my coloring done, I am going to spray this with water. And we'll do that next time. So you'll, your goal today, get that whole half colored in. Next time, we will spray them with water, fold them in half, and then, um, and then you'll see what happens. It's really cool um, to get the reflection. And then, of course, we'll put them on the drying rack. Today, though, we're just going to make our goal to get the, all the coloring done. If you finish all that, you can draw in your sketchbook. But just to let you know what's going to happen next time, I'm going to go ahead and show you here that I spray it with water. That's You didn't see that that off camera was the water. Fold it in half. Use a towel to clean up your table. And then when you open it back up, you get the reflection of your city on your paper. Now your paper is wet, so it needs to go to the drying rack, um, but it's very fun. So guys, I'm excited for us to get started on our Monet reflection pictures.